Hey guys, it's Jeff and today Apple released iOS 11.2.5 for developers only. As you may know, iOS 11.2.1 was released earlier today, but that didn't bring any significant changes to iOS 11. So iOS 11.2.5 comes in at around 2.2 gigabytes for the iPhone 10, which is actually quite significant of an update. The build number for this version is 15D. 037 little e. So for this update, we do have this feedback app back on the uh, home screen here, which will mean that we will be able to give feedback to Apple and that will be there for a tool to report bugs or anything like that. Now, moving on to the OS itself, and there's actually not anything new um, going throughout the OS. It seems a lot faster though. Pulling down the control center, it just feels a little bit more snappy. And when you pull down things like the um, notification center and then swipe over, it just seems like it's a little bit faster. Switching between apps is really, really quick. And I've noticed just in using the face ID feature for unlocking the phone and uh, kind of going to the wallet and just making sure that it authenticates that it is working a little bit faster. Now I did point out those changes in iOS 11.2 beta 6 and those changes were quite significant from the iOS 11.1 update where we saw the, the face ID wasn't that fast. It was kind of slow and definitely slower than touch ID. So now moving on to iOS 11.2.5, we're seeing that feature get a little bit more speedy. So I went ahead and ran some quick benchmarks in Geekbench and found that the CPU score was just about the same as in iOS 11.2.1 and comparative to iOS 11.2, that was about the same as well. Now the compute score was significantly lower, but we're seeing faster processing and actually more stable um, kind of like a stable feel to iOS 11 now. So hopefully that reflects in our actual day-to-day -day use. That score came in around 15,200. So obviously down from the 16,000 that we had before, that's quite a significant decrease. But moving on and to kind of just going throughout the OS, it really does seem like Apple has got it down as far as performance. So I definitely recommend this update. I have yet to see exactly how battery life is in this update. So stay tuned for an update on that. Um, as I said before, no new changes are found in this update other than serious performance gains and hopefully serious battery gains. So thank you all for watching and make sure to get subscribed for some more upcoming content. It's been great sharing this update update number two from Apple today with you, and I'll catch you all in the next video.